here we are with another story from the Used Companion magazine, April 28th of 1910. And we're going to bring you a story that is of importance and stuff. No Tariff War. Most of the countries which make use of their tariff laws to protect their own industries or to promote their trade have adopted the device of maximum and minimum rates. The new tariff law of the United States is the first in this country into which the principle has been introduced. The president is authorized to proclaim that the duties imposed on the products of countries which discriminate unfairly against American commodities shall be one-fourth more than the duties levied upon the goods of their countries. After a careful examination of the tariff laws of all countries and after negotiations with several governments, it had been decided that no country discriminates unfairly against this country and the maximum rate will be operative against none of them. The only serious question were those regarding Germany, France, and Canada, but they were all happily settled. Great interest was manifested over the case of Canada. There were efforts on both sides of the boundary to make trouble. Some persons, both Canadians and Americans, urged that there should be no concessions, as if the surrender of the small point involved humiliation of the part of the government which yielded. Better counsels prevailed. Those who were responsible for result held rightly that peace is better than war, and endeavored successfully to improve the extensive trade relations between two neighboring and friendly nations rather than to interpose obstacles. It is not strange that we hear from a few persons that Canada or the United States won a great diplomatic victory, or that it withdrew its presentations. But it is clear that both views have been expressed in both countries. Neither statement is true. The discussions was friendly. The disposition on both sides was friendly. The arrangement is mutually advantageous. Neither government sought or has won a victory. And the way has been opened for further negotiations and a more intimate trade relation between this country and its northern neighbor. All right. Very interesting to know. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more readings from the Youth Companion magazine of over a hundred years ago. Bye-bye now.